Alright everyone, Namaste Ji, how's everybody doing today? Welcome to a very very beautiful snowy day out here in Manali. Very happy new year to all of you guys and thank you. We're almost gonna touch 300k right now. So thank you to each and every one of you for supporting us. And big shout out to all our members who've been like yeah. selflessly supporting us for the last year or so. Thank you, we really, really appreciate it. So, what's on the agenda today, Bharti? Uh, nothing, just uh, walking in the snow. Yeah, go on a really long walk. I don't know where we're heading, but we're just going on a long, long walk. At the moment, in the town forest right now. And uh, yeah, this is probably the most gorgeous place to be in Manali when it's snowing. Funny, I was feeling a bit unwell these past few days. And Ronnie really had to coax me to get out of the house to come and now that I'm here I'm so glad that he's like made me come out because it's like these small stupid things that like bring a smile you know to your heart like just like sticking your tongue out and waiting for snowflakes <laughs> to land on it and just like what were those books? Enid Blyton? Yeah, Enid Blyton Enchanted Forest type feeling, yeah? Like it's the same forest that we walk up and down all the time, but every season it takes on like a completely different vibe and that's so beautiful. Okay, so that scene was from a crazy night that we spent in Lahore at a festival. But before we get into that, I'd like to take this moment to uh, thank the sponsors of today's video, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community and a great place for anyone uh, to you know, start developing their skills and passions to find inspiration. Uh, and at the same time, you know, uh, pick the right tools uh, to take the next step in their creative journey. They have thousands of classes on topics such as film and video, illustration, gardening, cooking, and a lot more. Uh, we've been using Skillshare for almost a year now and have joined classes on guitar playing, uh, journaling, editing for YouTube videos, and so many more. For a while now, the two of us have been wanting to work on our writing skills. We used to like write a lot of voiceovers for our videos earlier, but off late, we haven't really focused on writing as a form of expression. So we took up a Skillshare class by writer and poet Hanif Abdurraqib called Writing for Expression, How to Make Your Words More Artful and Lyrical. It's a great class for people who want to develop certain creative writing techniques that can then be applied across the various genres of the medium. Uh, every technique is illustrated with examples that really help drive the point home. Each video ends with a short exercise that you have to work on in order to understand what you've just learned. So we've tried using some of these concepts in the voiceover that we've written for the next part of this video. 
All these classes are ad-free, which means no distractions while learning. They even have classes by some Indian creators. When you join Skillshare, you get unlimited access to their entire library of classes for less than 2,000 rupees annually, which works out to about 166 rupees a month. I mean, uh, it's cheaper than your phone bill these days. So there's a customized link placed in the description and the first thousand people to use that custom link will get a free one month trial to more mindful learning and less mindless scrolling. For the next two days and two very long nights, the gods showered their blessings upon us, shrouding the horizon in a fuzzy blanket of white. But with every winter that passes, the blanket wears thinner and thinner. And I wondered if there will ever come a day when the world will lay barren and bare. But then all it took was a little sunshine to push that cloud of gloom away. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on our way to Lahore. The road has just opened today and uh, we've been wanting to do this for the longest time. The drive is amazing. I hope my car survives it. We have another maybe 25, 30, 40 kilometers to go. Maybe more, right? About 60 kilometers still Kelong. Yeah. And uh, yeah, completely snowed in and big big walls on the side you have a single lane road going hopefully there are no cars coming from the other side because then we're stuck completely four wheeling and uh, we are going for a festival that takes place in Kelong which we've been wanting to go for the longest time in our lives eight you years know, eight years eight actually years. and finally you know after this fresh snowfall that we had the road's now open and uh, we're really, really excited to go see this festival which takes place at night at like minus 25, 30 degrees. So, fully excited and uh, yeah, just praying to God everything stays safe, that's all. जम गया पूरा जम गया पूरा ही जम गया जी कितने बार करना पड़ता है दिन में हां दो तीन बार दो तीन बार माइनस 10 चला हुआ दिन को आज वो तो सही है draped in a traditional silk chuba sangpoji the newly elected Pradhan of Kelong invited us into his home to celebrate the New Year festival called Halda. As the axe came down, stripping the juniper tree into slender logs, and our breath mingled with the lingering juniper fumes, the excitement and anticipation within us started to bubble. At this very moment, each and every home in Kelong was in perfect synchrony. As the oldest sons built the Halda, or the torch, and the women of the house lit juniper and sprinkled alcohol into the cold air to purify and protect the family. So, yeah. How much weight is it? This is 6-7 kg. I didn't make a lot of weight because it's not far away from my location. So, now I'm going to put shukpa in it. The juniper will be put in it. उसमें फूल लगेगा तो इसको भी हाल्डा को भी हम बहुत अच्छे से इसको सजा के ले जाते हैं। It is believed that during this time each home is blessed with the presence of various gods and deities. The most significant one being शिष्करापा। शिष्करापा मतलब हम देवी के रूप में मानते हैं उनको। अब अगर हिंदी में देखा जाए तो हम ये बोल सकते हैं कि लक्ष्मी क्योंकि अब नया साल आ रहा है तो हम उन उनके लिए पूछते हैं शिष्कर आपा को ना तो अब ये वापस इसको नया करके अब नए साल में उनके लिए भी हम नया ये बनाते हैं शिष्कर आपा का पूरा एक 
क्या बोले अब पिक्चर जैसा इसमें बनाते हैं तो अमा का काम रहता है ये तो अमा बनाएंगे इसको पूरा और जो हल्डा का ये सात दिन या नौ दिन जो रहता है तो इस बार नौ दिन है तो ये नौ दिन पूरा अमा बस इन्हीं की पूजा करेंगे रोज़ सबसे पहले सुबह उठ के इनको तो ये नौ दिन के बीच में हम कुछ भी खाते हैं इवन चाय भी पीते हैं तो हम अपने से पहले इनको ऑफरिंग करेंगे रात को शूट भी करना है थोड़ा कम पिएगा प्लीज बात ही तो फॉर यू इट्स फॉर मी आर आई गिविंग मैसेजेस फॉर यू आई लाइक एज इफ आई एम द अल्कोहोलिक इन बिटवीन द टू ऑफ अस आई लाइक दैट दिस इज फॉर यू द चंग केप्ट फ्लोइंग एज द डेलाइट फेडेड इनटू डस्क एंड द फ्रॉस्ट बिटन वर्ल्ड अराउंड अस स्लोली क्रेप्ट इनटू अ डीपर फ्रीज बट द चंग नेवर स्टॉप्ड फ्लोइंग हम चाय खिलाए आप लोगों को हमारे पास तो थुक्पा ही बना हुआ हमारे पास तो खिलाए नहीं हम आपको खिला सकते हैं एक एक खिला सकते हैं एक दो सारे दारू पीने वाले चाय वाले को नहीं है चाय चाय आप इधर जाओ यू गुड ये एवरीबॉडी गुड clock struck 10:30 the temperature dipped to a chilling negative 22 and every home in kelong found its sink again it was time to light the halda and begin the final ritual for the night the torch bearers from every household made their way through the winding icy alleyways of kelong slowly coming together to form a flaming roaring dragon banishing all evil spirits as they made their way through the town every few paces the procession would come to a halt and the atmosphere would echo with silent prayers whispered into the night as the torch bearers made small offerings of juniper and barley to the gods through knee deep snow our bodies kept warm by the dragon's breath We left the alleys of Kelong behind and meandered into the fields howling all along the way. At the final mark the torch bearers lay their torches together to form a billowing fire and made their final offering of sattu and ghee. The embers from the fire rose up into the air purifying everything that they touched and for one last time that night the dragon's roar boomed across the valley expelling all evil and welcomed in the new year with love and light <laughs>